This is our new house and that's a solar roof that you're looking at. That long expanse of blue metal has 36 uh, thin film laminate modules on it. And the material that the modules are made out of looks like this. This is a, it's flexible. When they put those modules on the roof pans, they put them on before the roof was installed and it was just a peel and stick process. They just peeled a gigantic sheet of plastic off the back of these 18 foot long strips, stuck them to the metal, which was colored to uh, match the solar panels, which is why you are having a very hard time seeing them. And, uh, and then they just install the roof as they would regularly. Once it's installed, it just sits up there and works. There are nine panels connected together in a string, and then the four strings are connected together in one inverter. Solar panels make power in direct current, and your house uses power in alternating current. So the inverter changes the power that's made by the solar panels into power that your house can use. Each module is 136 watts times 36 equals 4,890 watts. That's 4.89 kilowatts. In Champaign County, you would take that number for well, 4,890, multiply it times 1.3, and that would tell you how many kilowatt hours you would expect of electricity for that system to produce here. It makes about 20 uh, kilowatt hours on a winter day, uh, a sunny winter day. It, makes, it can make as much as 30 on a summer day. Generally with a rooftop system like this, um, on sunny days in spring and fall, we will probably produce more power than we use while it's being produced. So power will go back into the grid. It's net metered, which means that they're not buying power back from us, but the power that we don't use in our house um, does go back into the grid and we get credit for it, which is actually better than buying it back because when they buy it back, they're giving you a sort of a, a wholesale price for electricity. But when you buy power from them, you're paying fees and delivery charges and a whole bunch of other things. So getting credit for the power that you send back into the grid gives you credit for all that other stuff. You are limited by the direction that your roof faces, how much of your roof is available to put solar panels on. Every time you have a, a roof vent or a little gable sticking out or the roof changes direction or something, your surface is interrupted and it can be very hard to get a reasonable amount of power on your roof. If you plan ahead to put solar on your house, you will get a much more cost-effective system, faster return on investment, and a system that performs better. The time to think about it is when it's still on the drawing board and to make sure that uh, the surfaces are oriented correctly, that the roof pitch is correct. We installed our solar roof in 2009 and in January of this year, the price of solar panels dropped by one third. This is because of an expected drop in price because solar panels uh, are expected to get cheaper over time as you know, uh, more and more of them are produced. But it's also because of the recession that uh, the factories of all the solar manufacturers finally got up to speed and were able to start cranking out their panels and, nobody, and all of a sudden people stopped buying things. So there is, um, a reduced price for solar panels this year. Um, they'll probably continue coming down, but they could go up a little bit, so this year would be a good year to consider putting solar on your roof.